The truth is folks, I've been avoiding this pile of mail for over a week, but I can't avoid it any longer. It's just getting too big. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. I'm pretty sure I know what it is because it's got P3 indoor module on it. And there it is, look at that. I've got myself another panel. I wonder, that feels quite small. Let's have a look compared to my other one, shall we? No, it's actually the same. They're the two panels. This is my original one I got from Adafruit, which cost me $90 US plus shipping. Whoa. This one was from AliExpress and it cost me $26 Australian, including shipping. It doesn't quite look as nice, I don't think. Yeah, the LEDs aren't as nice. And obviously inside, it's quite different. The uh, arrangement of the ICs is different. There seems to be no labeling on the input and output. At least there's arrows pointing to which direction it needs to go. It's definitely a cheaper build. But I now have two. So I'm gonna keep my original one with my photon particle and this one I'm going to build a custom ESP32 board for it. And I will likely make those boards available. What is next? Connections. Ah. These are, how funny that they came at the same time. These are headers. Female headers. They look kind of familiar. Don't they? Yep, these are for my Custom ESP32 boards. Wow, I don't remember ordering that many. Okay, well, there we go. Lots and lots and lots of headers. What is next? Expansion board module times two. <laughs> Feels empty to be honest with you. Couldn't be very big modules. Oh, finally. These are accelerometers, six axis, nine axis, gyros, accelerometers, who knows. These are the BMI 160 copies, I think, the clones from China. Oh, look how small that is. Excellent. I've got a couple of those. I got them for a project that I am working on. I always say that, you know what? I've got so many projects I'm working on, it is not funny. I almost lose track of what I'm doing most of the time. Okay, next. We have nothing. It's a bag with nothing inside it. Okay, I almost thought there was nothing. It was stuck to the side. This looks like some ICs. 20 pieces, MBR 120. Ah, oh, these are shot key diodes. Okay, what's next? We have development board module times two. Didn't we just do that one? This also feels like there's nothing in it. Oh, something down, all the way down there. Better not open it down this end. God, everything's tiny. <laughs> Good packaging. Oh, these are my ESP 8266s. I mentioned in an earlier video that I ordered a couple of those. Cool. So I can use my Fogo pins board to test them out, which are going to come in handy for something. Something unannounced. Okay, we have IC B30G. Okay, I know what these are. These are a CH340Gs. I accidentally did two orders for them. I thought I only ordered one set, but I ordered two sets. One set of 10 and one set of 20. And now I have 30 of the 340G serial UART chips that are used on a lot of the Chinese boards. What is next? This is quite heavy. And it says PCB board. Okay, I think I know what these are. Yep. And I ordered them back at a time when I was going through them and using them. Is that all that came in the bag? Hmm, I thought I ordered more than these. Anyway, these are prototyping boards of various sizes. So these are various size prototyping boards. I just bought a bundle of them. Same as what I bought last time. I tend to use them in projects, cut them up into big pieces, small pieces. This gives me plenty of spares now. Next, we have, oh, that's heavy. What is that? Tactile switch. 
I'll probably be some more of my switches. Excellent. Okay, I mentioned in my last unexpected mail video that I ordered a whole bunch of different types of switches because I didn't know which ones I wanted to use. So these ones are also 90 degree right angle, but they've got a square button on them. And they don't have a, l a long pole, they're a short pole. Cool. I have no idea how many there are in the bag. Uh, does it say? No. Maybe a hundred? No, wouldn't be a hundred. Doesn't matter. Excellent. What's next? I'm trying to get through this quickly for you folks, because there's a lot of it. Adapter times one. Quite big. What is that? I don't know. Adapter times one. <laughs> that is not an adapter. At all. These are my 0805 capacitors, ceramic capacitors. Bag of assorted sizes. Because you can never have too many. Maybe that's too many. But better get making some more PCBs, hey? What have we got? Okay, this is from RS Components. This will be a back order that I've been waiting for. This is a roll of... Hmm, what are they? Oh, I just stabbed myself. I think these are 5 volt regulators. Yep, okay. These are AZ1117CH 5 volt regulators. These are surface mount ones. These only you can take in up to 12 volts and they give 5 volts out. Cool. Almost there, folks. Almost there. We have IC quantity 10. What does that say? E50. Yeah, I don't know what that says. 10 ICs. What could that be? Oh, we've got a business card. Thank you for your order. Please leave five stars. Okay, these are... Ah! These are my XPT2046 touch ICs that I bought when I thought that I could fix my 2.4 inch TFTs just by sticking an IC on them, when apparently I can't because there's no touch surface on them either. So these are kind of wasted. Anyway, it was too late. I'd already ordered them. Okay, what is this? Integrated circuits. God, there's nothing in here. What am I ordering? Wow. This is integrated circuits. What could this be? Oh, ups, ups. oh, I think I know what these are, and I can't even read them. I'm going to need my magnifying glass. I think these are my CP2104, serial UART, USB, thingo, me bob, chips. Can't even read what's on them. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. These are the ones that Adafruit use on their boards. Doesn't say what this is. Oh, electronic components. Go figure. Really? Electronic components. I don't order electronic components. What are these? Whoop. Oh. Dropped them. Okay, these are two lots of something facing each other, so I need to open it up to see what's inside. Okay, these are a strip of... Mm. Okay, I can't read the model number, but I'm pretty sure these are level shifters. In fact, I'm quite positive these are level shifters. And they're, they're probably clones of the TI ones that I had on my previous unexpected mail. So I'll be a link to the, what these are in the description below. Okay, accessories. Okay, accessories. What could be accessory? Okay, these are more switches, but why did I order so few of them? That's unlike me. What are these type? Okay, these are also 90 degree momentary switches. They're tiny, look at them. Oh, I've got a nice mechanism on them too. I'm going to have so many buttons, switches, I have no idea what to do with them all. Okay, one more folks. Lucky last. This is from Dave Astell's. It's a logic probe kit from Tindy. And I'm going to hopefully not wreck it when I open it. So Dave designed a logic probe that comes in kit form. And it's all through hole. 
which is both exciting and disappointing. <laughs> oh, cool. And this is business card. That's a nice looking card. Zombie Wizard software for gamers. Dave Astells, there's his Twitter email address. This is a 3D case. I ordered with a 3D case, although I can also print my own. And I thought I might print one in orange and I'll have one of each. And here's the kit here. So there's a whole bunch of transistors and resistors, green and red LED, and that's the board there. Let me just pull the board out. When it's all assembled, you'll have a red and a green LED here. You wire the actual probe itself into your power source that is controlling whatever you're probing, and then you basically just poke the end and it'll light green or red depending on whether it's high or low. So I'm going to put this together on a soldering set day. It's not huge, there's not a lot of components, but they're very tightly packed in as you can see. There's some transistors that really <laughs> butt up close to each other. So I'm looking forward to putting this together. I will do that on a soldering set day video. That's it! Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that alarm bell to know when I've got new videos coming out. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, on Facebook and Instagram and check out my Tindy store. And until next time, bye.